getting ready. All right. For some reason, it signed me out. Just as I went live, it signed me out on Facebook. So then it helps if I can see the uh, comments and make sure everything's working. Um, or that way if the camera goes down or something, I'll see it. So I was signed on to Facebook. And all of a sudden it said I was already logged in. And it went to a page on becoming a yoga teacher so I'm thinking it might have the wrong person but I quickly signed out and back in so thank you for joining us this afternoon I'm southbound on Snelling Avenue in uh, Arden Hills coming into the Roseville area we're just passing uh, Bethel University and uh, University of Northwestern, which will be coming up. It's been a super busy morning over in Minneapolis, as usual, with uh, auto thefts and carjackings and robberies. Um, it's They have another kind of a spree going on over there and uh, have sent us the info. Earlier today, the CAT team saw a stolen car on the east side of St. Paul and were able to follow it. I'm not sure exactly if it uh, initiated with a, maybe a St. Paul squad seeing it but not pursuing it. And then our uh, CAT team started following it, got the helicopter up, and they were able to make an apprehension after a while of following the car and then doing stop sticks. And uh, I was in the middle of a meeting, so I couldn't hear all the details of it, but uh, sounds like they arrested an adult male um, with a quite a history. And... All the cops were safe. No cars got banged up, so that's good. And uh, I'm assuming, but once again, because I couldn't hear St. Paul, I know was helping um, as well as they always do when we're uh, in the city of St. Paul. And generally, they will jump in and help. Uh, on the perimeter or with stop sticks or whatever they can do within their policies. So. We are on County Road C now going westbound. I have to go check a couple of uh, hotels here for um, a particular vehicle that someone might be driving that's wanted. I don't want to air the license plate or the description of the vehicle just because they are wanted and know that the police are looking for them so but we're gonna come over here and drive around a few places and see if we can find it it's a beautiful day here it's mostly sunny 67 degrees right now very uncharacteristic for Minnesota at this time of year. Um, yeah, so I actually am wearing short sleeves, uh, which is kind of nice. For those of you who are new to our um, educational broadcast here. I am under Sheriff Mike Martin. Uh, I work for the Ramsey County Sheriff's Office. The We are on the east side of the river across from Minneapolis and we are uh, about half of the county sits in the city of St. Paul and the other half is uh, suburban areas um, some of which 
seven of those cities we are contracted to be the primary police for, but the rest we support through investigations and citywide units like our carjacking and auto theft team, our intelligence. Uh, we help with some investigative work, especially um, sex crimes type cases. Um, and uh, with the SWAT team and a mobile response team. So I am uh, in charge of what's called the regional services, which is um, all of those uh, countywide units that are not uh, patrol related. So I have investigations and intelligence and the carjacking and auto theft team and uh, violent crime enforcement team and the SWAT team and the mobile response team, which used to be called the mobile field force, but it's the name's changed. So we're just going to check through. I'm looking for a specific vehicle. Um, as I said before, and it will stick out. Another agency in the metro area, actually two, are looking for the individuals that are in this vehicle and for different reasons. And uh, we learned they might be up in this area, so we will look for them. We're monitoring... Uh, all three of our county channels, the Ramsey West, Central, and East, all three of the uh, St. Paul main channels, the uh, West, Central, and East, and several metro-wide and statewide channels so if something kicks off like today with the chase it'll they will cross patch with a statewide channel so that all the agencies can hear it and communicate with each other so I'm not seeing the vehicle I was looking for here um, but we're gonna move on to some other close hotels We had a, a great uh, meeting this morning with the command staff, the ones, there's always one or two out of town, but uh, the ones that were in town today, and I learned that uh, two of our young, looks like we might have dumped here. Pull over here and see if I can get this up and running again. Can you change us through DOC? I'll be clear of it.
Welcome back. I'm not sure what happened, but I'm pretty sure that uh, some high-level hackers hacked in on behalf of the bad guys, and now they, they've they been thwarted, and we are back live. So thank you for sticking with me. So hopefully uh, everyone got back here. There's, we're still uh, going along here. I don't know what happened, but all of a sudden the feed stopped. And the uh, it just said your, my live feed had ended. That's why I, I like to have it up where I can see it while we're moving so that I could tell when stuff like that happens. So, um, but thanks to the two smartest men in the sheriff's office, Kyle Mestad and uh, oh that Andy guy, um, they uh, they were able to get us back up and running. And. Here we are. I don't want to mention Andy's last name because I don't know if anyone ever has. So he's that way he can remain anonymous and he doesn't get stolen by another agency. All right, I'm being told that it's okay. So Andy Cassidy, we appreciate your help too, getting us back up and running. And we're back checking some of our uh, local motel hotels looking for our wanted people. Not really used to seeing a limo at the uh, Motel 6, but hey. You never know. day for uh, Minnesota for this time of year and uh, it's always nice to be able to take off the coats and wear some short sleeves and enjoy the weather for a change generally we will usually get another snowstorm or two before the uh, winter's over. We'll get one usually at the end of March and, and one in early April. But you never know. My 
my son was going golfing today, so um, that'll tell you how nice it is out. Apparently the golf courses are um, golf courses must be in, in good enough shape to uh, be able to handle the golfing on them and the carts. So. We are over by Rosedale Mall now. Uh, we're in the city of Roseville. They have uh, their own police department, a sizable department. I don't know how many exact officers they have, but uh, they it's a, a big agency and they do a great job. Their uh, um, chief, Erica Scheider, runs a nice shop. And uh, we're lucky to have them as partners. They're also, uh, they also have members on our SWAT team as well as our crisis uh, negotiations team. Rosedale, Roseville is home to Rosedale Mall, which is the largest mall in uh, Ramsey County. And I was just talking to uh, one of the employees from the mall over the weekend who said they are going to uh, be building out a uh, police substation in the mall, which will be nice to provide some presence for the officers as well as a place where people can stop that need uh, services and they generally have officers working in there anyway, off duty or um, in some of the stores. So um, that was awesome news. Uh oh. Our live feed stopped again, it looks like. So I'm being told that YouTube is still live, but that Facebook ended. So if you can, try to uh, switch over to YouTube. I don't know what's going on with Facebook. Um, I'm going to have to. I don't have them in my contacts, but I'm going to have to call Mark Zuckerberg and complain. Um, I remember once that... Uh, my brother was complaining to uh, about something, and my dad likened it to complaining to uh, Ronald McDonald because she got a bad hamburger. Um, and uh, I think calling Mark Zuckerberg because your video died is probably very similar. He wouldn't know how to fix it if he wanted to, but I'm going to keep talking like I'm live while um, we figure this out again. Kyle Facebook is dead again. That's it. I, we should uh, we might have to create our own uh, social media channel just so this doesn't happen. We're okay, eastbound on Highway 36 Thank you. here through the city of Roseville. Um, if you're paying attention and you haven't uh, seen it yet, go go to Live on Patrol um, when we're done and look at the articles that we've posted. A couple of news articles that really get to the heart of the effect that crime is having on the community and especially the city of Minneapolis. 
man was sitting on the lot at 2361 Highway 36. West, now standing against the chalk line, chain link fence along 36. Frontage Road, White male, 35 pin thin, now awaiting the left at Highway 36, wearing the black, including black pants. So we'll just keep driving and and uh, uh, hopefully people, hopefully the uh, YouTube's working. And see what we can get into. south we'll be driving through it'll be the city of Maplewood on our left and the city of Roseville on our right
bumping or rattling. We're on uh, Rice Street, which has a lot of divots and potholes in it. And uh, this Tahoe, because it's pursuit really related, <laughs> pursuit rated, has a very stiff suspension, so it doesn't absorb uh, the potholes like a normal passenger car would. Again, it looks like we're live again. I just saw us drive by Hammernick's flooring. Great place to go if you're looking for flooring or if you chase a bad guy in the back door and out the front door, which I did one day. And uh, running around the piles of flooring. Yeah, you can send me that call. So we're going to continue south on Rice. We're at Maryland right now. By the way, I did take my car in to get the brakes fixed. And found out that there's a, uh, a flaw basically and how they build the brakes for these Tahoes and uh, I was told that um, they have back ordered some new brake pads um, that should solve the squealing problem but that the brakes should work just fine which they have been so Everything's good. Copy 173, you've been New clear. Message. 73, thank you. New message. 521 Tango. We're clear advised with Central and Downtown, and can you change this to a DLC? Copy, 1631.
All right, he was the registered owner of the vehicle. He had his license with him. I had already run him before I got out and knew that he had a valid license and he was very uh, friendly, which helps. And uh, so I just advised him to slow down a little bit and uh, he was cool, so. Uh, here on Rice Street, it's particularly uh, important that people don't drive too fast because there's so much pedestrian traffic. And uh, I actually one night came across a body laying in the middle of Rice Street uh, late at night on a Friday night. And um, the lady had been hit and uh, it was a hit and run and she ended up passing away. And, uh, so I really try to keep people, uh, from speeding too fast. I mean, he wasn't bad, but... Don't want to see people getting hit. feed is still going, but it looks like Facebook went down again. Good girl, 531 ELT. So I'm just pulling over, letting the, our technical team know. That we're down again. Sorry, folks, if you can uh, hear me, I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Just, uh, unfortunately going to have to stick with YouTube for now because okay. Facebook is uh, glitching <laughs> on us. And I don't know if it's aliens from outer space that are interfering with our signal or what, but uh, we will just keep going on YouTube. I'm just trying to get to the right spot here so that I can make sure it's still going. And spot. It is. Okay. Just so you know, feel free to 
chat with each other, but I don't think I'll be able to see your um, comments. But at least I know YouTube's working. And uh, I really appreciate people sticking with through this. Uh, these technical nightmares when when we got Kyle and Andy. We got the best people possible to figure it out, but it looks like uh, they're we're gonna have to let Facebook go for today. Making a little U turn here around Litton Park and check in an area where a lot of stolens get dumped here. We are back in the city of St. Paul. In case anybody missed it, out on Rice Street. championship which was an awesome game to watch first of all uh, both teams are just unbelievably good um, and competitive the target center was sold out I would say 95% of the people in there were Iowa Hawkeyes fans um, I'm gonna guess some new ones that are Caitlin Clark fans, but uh, it was just an awesome game to watch, and the teams went back and forth, and in the end, Iowa won, and it was fun to watch the celebration at the end, but the, uh, it's too bad in, sometimes in games like that that either team has to lose because they're both so good. The players put so much into it. Um, and uh, you just wish uh, that you know nobody had to lose. But the sad part is someone always has to lose. I'm running a plate New on message. a car that matches the description of one that was stolen the other day. But it looks like this is not the... I probably ran the wrong plate. Oh, the car's uh, valid. It's an, it's not a stolen car, but the uh, registered owner's revoked. So if we see it moving and it's a guy driving it, then might be worth the traffic stop. 
Central uh, District in the city of St. Paul. This neighborhood's called the Frog Town neighborhood because this area used to be marshes and uh, therefore there were a lot of frogs and so locals called it Frog Town. Where are you, Tango? Have a good night, Mr. Five, two, four, EOT, have a good night. Facebook page and you'll see a couple links to good articles uh, lately that uh, explain some of the issues in public safety right now in the metro area and specifically in Minneapolis. The uh, Chief O'Hara there is, is desperately trying to recruit officers and replenish the ranks in Minneapolis that have lost so many uh, officers. I think they're down about 400 officers right now from uh, where they should be. Which makes it hard 
to uh, police the streets and do the proactive work that's necessary. So this guy's having quite a fire here in the backyard. I just want to make sure he's being safe about it. Well, it's pretty much away from anything else that could catch on fire. So it's weird. I, we are in drought conditions in the Twin Cities area, but um, today uh, it's been really unusual. It's I'm aware of three house fires that have occurred today. One in Roseville, one in Madness Heights, and another one I believe down in uh, 494 and 212. I think that's uh, Eden Prairie, but it's uh, it's weird to have three house fires like that on a beautiful day like this and kind of makes you wonder what's going on there. On the right here is our uh, Minnesota State Capitol. We're going to drive by the Capitol on our way over to the east side because there's not much going on over here. M531 Tango, colors, or sorry, the suspect vehicle still stop at the stoplight. They're not moving. Copy. Clear, advise. You can send us a pending. Four twenty six eight meter. Vehicle still waiting at the stop light. Copy will be around. Copy. So we're going to come down here past Regions Hospital. Um, it's a great, great hospital. They do really good work. Um, level one trauma center. They have a helicopter. They have a uh, tremendous emergency room. I've watched them bring people back to life nice, many times or save you lives. Drop in 23, but over clear. Yeah. Thanks. I don't think people realize the the amount of work and issues that our hospitals deal with, um, whether it's people that are in mental health crises or um, who are sick or traumatized or um, hospice dealing with uh, children. We're driving by the Gillette Children's right now where they work with kids that have um, terminal and um, debilitating illnesses and uh, they just do an unbelievable job and, and uh, we owe them a great uh, debt of gratitude. I don't know, does, does 
great. Yeah, that's fine. Great. A lot of appreciation for the men and women who keep the hospitals going and uh, we'll be out with a suspect. Let's hear the talking we're really lucky to have professionals that dedicate their lives to that work. Why do you want to hang with Kathy? So we're going to switch over to um, the east side of St. Paul. So I'm just adjusting my radio here so that uh, if something happens, I can get on the air on the right channel. St. Paul at uh, Burr and Tedesco. And we'll see what they have going on over here. Where's she wearing again? She's in a red, white, and black striped outfit, matching top and pants, long black hair, big, big. That New Orleans store. Gotta yeah, turn her off. The yeah, vehicle will be Julia's uniform November 424. Can you tell me who that comes back to? Coming back. You're going to come back there into a bridge. Uh, they're walking south on the west side, that guy. Coming towards the end. the Ford Expedition. So we're northbound on Payne Avenue. We're just passing the St. Paul East team. Got some great cops over here. So 
We're gonna drive by up here. You will see squads. Uh, who just called out they have one in custody. They were dispatched to a person in crisis. And uh, sounds like they got the person safely into custody, which is good. Those are always volatile uh, situations or can be volatile situations. And officers here in Minnesota as well as in the city of St. Paul, they're trained to de-escalate situations and um, keep them from getting out of hand. So it looks like uh, they were able to do that. And Nobody got hurt, which is the goal. So that squad's asking for a TZD squad. Um, that would be a state grant uh, called Toward Zero Deaths, and they are officers that focus on um, traffic enforcement, especially impaired driving and trying to get impaired drivers off the road. legalization of marijuana, recreational marijuana. In Minnesota, we have a uptick in the need to assess people who may be under the influence of marijuana and driving or obviously under the influence of alcohol or other drugs who are driving while you can legally use marijuana in Minnesota, you can't be intoxicated or under the influence when you're driving, and you can't use it in the car. 
verbal argument so. at the intersection in a red Jeep compass. Fox truck. 26-1. You check on data, I'm not getting anybody. Watching our all of the pending calls and calls that are assigned, just to uh, see what's going on that we could maybe respond to. But the answer is not much right now, and definitely nothing near us. So. You can go ahead and grab PPT. I have somebody log in offshore. Log in to 79. 372 Tango. Tango, Tango, Tango. I want to give a shout out to all of the uh, high school students who are competing in the state DECA competition. Minneapolis. Uh, I believe it ends today, but uh, it's a great opportunity for kids to learn about business and marketing and uh, just to build their self esteem and interpersonal communications. And I know my kids have all really enjoyed it. Six, seven. Anyone else on scene can probably cancel. Copy squad's not on scene at Sheridan and Endeavor to can cancel. 165, 162, Tango, 178, you can clear. Description is white, you know, 510, medium. Weird. We'll have more than 54. White shirt, medium. In a bang-up, in the driveway. We are in eastbound on Maryland, on the east side of St. Paul. Probably one eight nine. Have a good night, thank you. The call is going to be at 942 Euclid. Happy we can be around to that area. Thank you. 271 Tango, if, if, if the suspect's not with her, um, you can cancel 262.
otra vez. Is this one six seven for the C seven ninety showroom for your son's female over acting out refusing to leave? One seven Avenue 
it just passing Aldrich Arena. Maplewood. Maplewood has their own police department. I know I've said that before, but just in case anybody is new and uh, Lake Roseville, they have a great police department. And, uh, they're busy. They have a mall, Maplewood Mall. And uh, uh, they have the Myth Nightclub, which is a concert facility. They have uh, a number of bars and hotels, so they're they're uh, they're a busy agency. Also, and Chief Beardman keeps them on track and uh, does a great job. I'm going to try to figure out how to safely get over here. Uh, Maplewood squad was just dispatched over here to the Costco on an alarm and we're going to head that way.
I'll show you back. So we're going to check through here another uh, hotel that looking for this vehicle.
looking for it earlier. Exciting afternoon, but I appreciate your hanging in there while through the technical difficulties. And uh, look forward to the next time I get to visit with you. But uh, Wednesday should be the cat team uh, working, and then Friday night the regular live on patrol with Bob and Pat and Nicole and whoever else can be out so um, thank you and uh, I hope you have a great rest of your day